program I want to cover the allowances tab that appears when we're milling contours or uh, any other feature on a part. Um, it's a way to leave stock allowance for finish passes. So traditionally for de the default setting in a Herco is if I'm going to use a roughing tool and a finishing tool I have to look in the program parameters tab under milling one to determine how much material is being left for my X and Y and how much is being left on the Z. These values are what the roughing tool will leave for the finish tool to remove. And this has worked okay over the years. Um, this is a global setting, so once you set it in the program parameters, it's used on every single block that uses a roughing tool and a finishing tool, unless you were to insert a change parameters block where you could then change these values from that point on in the program or for specific blocks. But if you look here on the same tab, again, we're in the program parameters under milling one, we look at the stock allowance mode. Let's set that from program parameters, which is the default historic value, to data blocks. That is going to then open up the allowances tab when I go back into my mill circle in this case. If I click on allowances, now I have a finish X and Y that I can leave a value uh, in X and Y and in Z and it only affects this block. If I were to create a new block, insert, milling, do another circle, the allowances are zeroed back out and depending on what you have going on in that block it may just have a Z or whatever. But going back here I'm leaving 10 thousandths in the X and Y, 5 thousandths in the Z for the finish tool to remove. If I have a finish tool programmed it will use the roughing tool, use the finish tool, and remove those values or that amount of material. If I don't use a finishing tool and I have allowances here, that ten thousandths and five thousandths will be left. It will not be removed. So this is a good way for us to stress relieve a part. We can program a bunch of geometry, leaving some allowances that we don't remove and then later on we can copy and paste these blocks then remove that those allowances and then that material would be uh, removed. We could also do this for leaving grind stock and things. It is also a, not only is it a good way to leave um, stock allowances for machining purposes but it's also a really good way for us to leave stock and not have to lie to the tool or lie to the geometry. Previously, to do this with the old method, we would have had to either tell the tool that it was bigger or smaller than it really is, or we would have to go in and try to add values to all of the uh, geometry in that, in that profile to leave this uh, material. Obviously, the easiest way would be to lie the tool, but if we did that, then we couldn't use that tool anywhere else because then it would be, um, it would be an incorrect size. So, anyway, allowance tabs for stock allowance um, is really, really helpful and available in any program type that is a universal.